so I wanted to show you guys something I'm really excited about. Um, I got the, uh, the old Hack RF here to transmit. So uh, I thought it was pretty cool using uh, GNU radio and uh, I set it up to uh, transmit on simplex, 2 meter simplex, 14652. Um, I don't have a way to uh, modulate it yet so it's just a FM carrier right now but uh, pretty neat. Um, this guy right here I have to thank uh, KF2MR Jared Jackson um, he uh, posted up on his blog if I can get my cursor over there uh, where is it here we go um, right here WordPress site I uh, I just googled transmitting with hack RF or something like that and uh, he posted up a little um, picture of his uh, GNU Radio Companion blocks and uh, he got a little different FFT plot than I did. I, don't, I did it a little different I guess. Um, so anyway, here's the uh, plot I made. I simplified it a little bit. Uh, just audio source. I guess you gotta have to have some kind of source there. And then uh, it's just five blocks. Uh, audio source, wideband FM transmit, the WX GUI FFT sync, and then uh, rational resampler, and the uh, Os Osmocom sync. And uh, get all your sampling rates and everything in order. And uh, here's what happens push play or go, FFT comes up. Uh, look at that transmit light that's the red one on the right <laughs> it's the transmit light so anyway that's really cool and uh, everybody always says hey I don't know is this uh, this little cheap SDR gonna be uh, is it gonna have a clean output you know when you transmit so um, I'm checking it out here. So it, I put uh, put the signal into the spec in here, and uh, I'm doing uh, plus d plus 10 dB RF gain, and uh, show a nice steady uh, about I don't know minus 54 dB. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go, minus 56 dBm through a 12 foot long uh, SMA cable from the Hack RF to the spec hand. So anyway, um, you know, I go out uh, you can see the not a whole bunch of peaks anyway, nothing that's coming through here um, there's like a half megahertz it looks pretty clean to me I think I could work with that I'd love to uh, one day get uh, a little little PA built for it. Let me turn this thing off here. Anyway, just a quick video. I'm really super excited about uh, the first time I've transmitted with my Hack RF. So. Uh, I think what I can do is uh, I can get a USB microphone and uh, set that as a default device and uh, audio device in uh, my uh, Ubuntu setup here. And uh, the way you do uh, 
new radio companion to go to the default device is leave device name blank here. So uh, in the documentation it says uh, right here leave device name blank to choose default audio device default audio device so uh, that's pretty cool that makes that easy so um, anyway there you go quick and easy <clears throat> and uh, more fun new trick for the heck RF and we'll see where we go from there I'd like to eventually build a radio that I can transmit and receive it has like a PTT button on there and uh, you know maybe even adjustable VFO and uh, maybe offsets and tones one day but uh, I'll start with uh, transmit and receive at the same you know with the same program and uh, get that running and then maybe one day build a little uh, PA for this thing maybe and uh, be able to talk on my 2 meter repeater with my heck RF just for fun who knows uh, but step one is done and uh, thanks to uh, KF2MR. Jared, appreciate the uh, blog post and um, yeah, pretty excited. Anyway, transmitting with the, with the heck RF.